Hey YouTube. Welcome back. Um, today we have a new video of system design fundamentals of the system design crash course. Today we'll talk about uh, sharding. Um, so basically coded from Wikipedia like database or sharding or database replication we can call it both. So like sharding can be used in many database management system usually with master slave relationship between the original which is the master and the copy which is a slave and if you don't understand this one just easy i don't understand it either so <coughs> let's first talk about the problem and after that let's talk about the solution uh, the problem first let's say that let's see this system we have um, a client that connected with a dns and um, the dns will send the ip address of the load balancer when when uh, when the client get the IP address of the load balancer, try to connect with the load balancer with the HTTP request connection, and after that the load balancer will try to to distribute all the incoming requests among the web servers. Okay, and we did uh, 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 handle the scalability, the horizontal scaling of the web server, but we didn't talk about what we should do in the in the scalability in terms of the database. Let's say that we save too much data, and we have a lot of data to save. What should we do? so um and also we want to be um alive all the time so right now one database is not enough we cannot have one database so if this one get down okay our data is lost so what should we do we should create we create something called a master uh, uh master slave database so a master database generally only supports a write operation and the slave database uh, gets copies of the data from the master database and only supports read operations um, all the data modifying commands like insert delete or update must be sent to the master database um, and actually most applications require a um, much higher ratio of reads to write thus uh, the numbers of, of slave database in, in system is usually larger uh, than the number of uh, master in, in in system because we read like most of the system read more than the uh, the uh <coughs> read more than uh, the 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 read ratio is bigger than the, the other ratios. So let's say that we have this database. We will try to break it down into some things. So first we say that okay, um, we have uh, let's let's read uh, the arrows. Let's read everything here and let's just talk about how we will handle the master slave database so uh, we have one database and i will call it uh, let's let's give it a color and i will call it master and let's just make it quite wider and i will give it i want to give it a color okay and I will create. Okay, let's put the master here. And I will put. Uh, let's copy this. No, let's copy this. Let's delete this. No, delete, 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 delete all this. Okay, and we will have. Let's see that we will have uh, two sleeves. And let's give the sleeve a different color. and uh, okay and yeah and let's copy the slave and copy it here and yeah and let's say that we have one master and one slave let's just make the master up here and the two slaves will be like that and they are connected directly with the web server Basically, the DB uh, the DB master is supports the write operations. So, any write operations that comes here, that will support it. Uh, can I give it a color? Will be like green, because green. And let's just say that it will support write operations also this one will support write operations and um, the other slaves will support read operations 
let's make it um, and it could be read and uh, read and between them whenever we write anything to the master whenever we write anything to the master the master the base will create a db replication into these two slaves so let's just uh, put the slaves quite down here uh, and yeah exactly let's give it uh, red it will be um, d b replication and also let's do the same here okay and uh, yeah so in this one it's way more better so basically this better performance in master slave model all writes and updates happen in master nodes where uh, whereas read operations are distributed across the slave nodes this model improves performance because it allows more queries to be processed in parallel because we have two slaves um, um real, uh, reliability also um, if one of the database server is destroyed uh, by by like by by any problem by any disaster so, uh, you 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 don't need to worry about any data loss because the data actually is uh, replicated across multiple locations so basically if if we have this one has been has been like went off or been destroyed we have two copies in the database and master and slave uh, we also have highly availability so p by replication data across different locations your website remains in operation even if a data is offline as you can access data stored in another database servers uh, and um, basically in, in 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 the previous video we discussed how uh, a load balancer helped to improve the system availability and we want to ask the same question uh, what if one of the database goes offline what we should do here so if only one slave if only one slave database is uh, available and it goes offline the read operation let's say that we have this one database and this goes offline okay for this one the read operations will be served by the master uh, database and uh, and until we uh, until a new slave uh, 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 will be introduced and will be replaced the destroyed slave. If the master if the master database goes offline, a slave let's say that let's 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 go back here. If the master by itself goes offline, okay, um, a slave database will be promoted to be a new master and all database operations will be temporarily executed on the new master database and a new slave um, a new slave database will replace the old one for data replication immediately in pro, uh, in production systems uh, promoting a new master is more complicated as the data is uh, in a slave database might be not up to date uh, but this uh, this uh, this outside of the scope of this video. So basically, if the master is went down, one of the slaves will be promoted to be the new master. And in conclusion, in conclusion, let's just talk about our system right now. Here, in conclusion, is that the user try to get the IP address from of the load balancer from the DNS. Okay, let, let me let me delete the. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. The user will try to get uh, uh, will try to get the IP address uh, uh, of the load balancer from the DNS, okay. And after that, the user connects to with the load uh, 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 the load balancer with the IP address with the HTTP request. This one, and the HTTP request is uh, routed to uh, uh, either server one or server two. We have this or this, and a web server reads uh, user data from a slave database. This one and a web server uh, uh, routes any data modifications operations to the master database and this includes write the update and delete operations 
so uh that's it for today's video that's it for about trading and i hope you like my content if you like my content make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll never miss a video and see you in future problems